Okay, great. Susan Murphy, Solar Ryan Saugerties. I just want to take advantage of having all these wonderful people here in this, in this hall tonight to make sure that everybody knows about our campaign. Anybody who lives in Ulster County or the adjacent parts of Greene County can join our Solarize campaign. We have our next event is on Saturday coming the 19th, 3 to 5 p.m. at New World Home Cooking. And Rick Orlando is contributing some of his wonderful goodies for us to, to have at our event. We have three solar installers that we have very, very carefully chosen. Uh, and we want everybody who possibly can to come to see if, about solarizing their home and their business. And when you get and, and in, in the window of Smith Hardware on Main Street, there's a display that's going to be up for two weeks that gives you the other dates. There's also a couple of flyers out on a table on the... Um, the, uh, for Solarized Socrates. For Solarized The Solarized campaigns are all over New York. Yes, yes they wonderful. are. And thank and you so much for time. bringing that up. Thank you very much. Thank you. If I can just interject, uh, if we can just have two more questions, please. So let's not, if it's, is it a question? Yeah. Okay. Questions only, please. Thank you. Uh, brief, brief question. Um, one basic thing, why do we use uh, fuel energy Meet our emotional needs. Tonight, my emotional needs are more than met by your moral imagination, the power of your moral imagination. And I'm just wondering, is it valid to consider the arts and activism itself as forms of energy, along with solar, wind, and thermal? And a source of energy itself, activism, not just for its results, but as a power in and it, of itself to meet our emotional needs in an alternative way. Is that valid? I love that idea, and, I, and I, I totally agree. Can I ask the Earth Guardians what your opinion about that question is? Hey, everybody. So um, I'm Aiden, this is Rachel, and this is Aaron. Um, and we're the Earth Guardians here to represent that organization. And yeah, so what we do is basically empower people globally to use their passions and their creativity to make a difference in their communities. So we feel that by harnessing our passions and using that art, that music, whatever it is that you really feel passionate about, using that is one of the most powerful tools that we have. Like yes, we can harness the energy of the sun and we can harness the energy of the wind, but we can harness our own personal energy inside of us. So what Earth Guardians is trying to do is activate a generation of young people who are using their passions to actually raise awareness and create that positive ripple because we're all energy. We're all putting out energy all the time. So it just depends on what type of energy we want to put out. <laughs> Last questions? Hey, thank you. Just wanted to say, first of all, thank you so much for the incredible film and bringing a humanistic side to this story that a lot of people haven't seen before. And this is probably the last question we should not be asking right now, but what are your thoughts on zero point energy and this entire other conversation that doesn't really get explored and this Nik Nikola's Tesla theories and the idea that there's energy all around us every day and it's not ever being talked about. And I'm just curious if we looked into that and if it's something you've talked about at all. I haven't really. Um, you know, I, I don't know much about the whole uh, Nikola Tesla, the history, I, I haven't looked into it. Um, what I do know, though, is that we have viable forms of renewable energy that are everywhere, um, and that there are new ones that are coming about every day. And one of the principles I think that we have to advocate for is innovation. Um, and, you know, at the same time, I think a lot of people uh, think, oh, solar energy and wind power and oh, that's far away, you know, when we're gonna beam ourselves to the moon, you know, drive Buick to the moon and whatever. You know, like that's in the future. People don't think that way anymore. People know that renewable energy is now. Um, and what, what I think we have to make sure that we do is not get paralyzed over which is the best one, but just, just make sure that we're getting rid of the worst ones, that we're getting rid of oil and coal and gas in our lives, that we're, we're changing. To, to a different sense of sustainability. So by all means, I think that there, there are so many forms. I don't know too, too much about it, but I do know that, um, I do know that, that solar and wind are, and, and water can provide 100% of our energy needs. 
as we go forward into the future. And there's a website that details a lot of those plans called the Solutions Project, um, the solutionsproject.org, which I started with Mark Ruffalo and Mark Jacobson at Stanford. Um, and you can go there to find out more about renewable energy as well.